How do you become an SEO professional? Hi, my name is Paul Andre de Vera, the host of the SEO video show. And in this segment, I ask SEO professionals every week on how to become an SEO expert. Check out this week's video. Yeah, I mean, it would depend on what, what channel they want to use to make money with SEO, obviously. Um, and there, there are a lot of opportunities. Um, I always try to push people towards client SEO in the beginning. No matter what path you want to go, client SEO is still a really good way to start because it gives you cash flow. You can take that cash flow and it gives you security. And you can also use that cash flow to reinvest into other things you want to do. So let's say, let's say you have a long-term goal of building like a media portfolio, you know, of different websites. Well, you need capital to be able to make those investments. If you don't have capital, it's going to take you literally 20 years <laughs> to, to be able to do that. So that is, to me, is the biggest shortcut is getting, you don't even need to build up this huge agency. You can just get to, you know, $10,000 a month. And that's plenty of capital for you to start to invest in these other projects. Um, and so, but without that, it becomes very difficult. You're probably going to be making your investments with a credit card and using debt instead of using people's other people's cash to make those investments. So, um, and now the way to actually get clients, it's kind of a, um, a catch 22 is you need to have results in some way. So the way that I, I try to get people to get that portfolio of results is to start like just one really small niche website where you can start to rank for some super uncompetitive keywords just to build up a decent portfolio. Those rankings are a part of your portfolio because you have achieved those results. So although they're not with a client, you still got those results. So that's still a part of the, you know, that's still a part of it. In fact, that's what I did in the beginning. Like I had all these results for niche websites. I just took them all, made that my portfolio. And then I used that when I was pitching, you know, pitching the clients. So, um, so that's why I recommend starting, you know, a smaller niche website, build up that portfolio if you don't have one. And there, there's many ways to go about building a portfolio, obviously, but that's just one way. And then um, focusing on client SEO to get cash and capital so you can reinvest or just stick with client SEO and keep building that up. But uh, regardless, you know, having cash makes life a lot easier. So, And there you have it. This week's tip on how to become an SEO professional. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated every time we update the channel. Thank you. Have a great day. Peace.